The print date is October 18th, 1994. Despite this one being American USA copy tape, right? Well, no, because this actually has the blue warning scrolling screen at the, the beginning, so this is not the American USA tape. This is still the, the Canadian tape. I'm going to have to show you a proof once if I do the opening to this tape. And speaking of that, um, I actually do not have the Paramount version of Black Beauty. I only have the Warner Bros. version, which I'm do playing on to get the Paramount version of the Black Beauty sometimes. If I come across it from the trip store, if I don't find it, then maybe either one of these days, I'm going to have to look for that copy off of eBay. So, yeah. The print date is October 28th, 97. I'm gonna have to buy myself another copy because this copy right here is very badly damaged, but not too bad. It is still kind of, and the audio got not good for some reason. So, maybe either one of these days, I'm going to have to buy myself another copy. I do have this movie on DVD, which I will show you that once if I do my Wonder Brothers DVD collection. No print date on this tape. The casing for this one is in very bad shape. As you can see, there's cracks like on the case. As you can see right now, it's not that good. But the tape itself plays good without any damages. Once again, no print date. See? Good. The tape still plays good. The print date is February 9th, 1997. February 9th, 1997. The print date is October 1st, 1997. October 1st, 1997. I can't I can't be wrong though. Maybe it's January 10th or October 1st. I don't know. If everyone knows, then let me know down in the comments. I could be wrong and I could forgot. Because basically I have never checked and looked at these tapes this whole entire time. So, yeah. I do have another copy of this tape, which we'll get into that momentary. The print date is February 21st, 1998. February 21st, 1998.
The print date is August 6, 1997. August 6, 1997. This is the white stick label copy. So, this where. I do have the others, which we'll get into that momentary. The print date is July 22nd, Print date is April 30th, 1999. April 30th, 1999. The print date is October 23rd, 1999. The print date is September 22nd, 1999. The print date is October 14th, 1999. October 14th, 1999. The print date is September 22nd, 1999. September 22nd, 1999. This tape is a formal rental from Super Dave's video. The print date is February 21st, 2000. The print date is November 3rd, 2000. This is the only Pokemon tape that I have. I do not have the others, but I'm due playing on to get those sometime soon if whatever I can. And plus, um, the casing on this one is not in the best condition. So you can see there's a little bit bent on the case. It's not good, huh? The print date is October 31st, 2000.
aka Halloween to Bassett. This is the sticker label copy also. This time it's black. March 6, to pass it blind. Ooh. My apologies. For this tape, I bought it brand new. As you can tell by that sticker right here. The print date is November 29th, 2000. Another one of brothers tip with a dark sticker label. The print date is hold on, let me see. June 21st, 2001. June 21st, 2001. The wheels on this one are a little bit yellowed, but the tape played good still, so that's good. The print date is September 5th, to pass it blind. September 5th, to pass it blind. The print date is November 27th, 2002. It's back in. The print date is January 16th, 2004. January 16th, 2004. I almost screwed. I almost said 2000, but this is still the 2004 tape. I don't even know how I got 2000 from. Here we go. Unfortunately, this clamshell, like the downside of the bottom is a little bit faded, but like on the, on the other side, like the, and like the top and like the middle part, like they're okay, but for the down here, like it's a little bit faded, but that's all right. That's all right. The print date is September 18th, 2003. Even though this is a 2002 B chess, this one's a Wii print. You'll find out why when I showed you all the print dates.
The print date is July 2nd, 2003. This tape has the newer one home video logo at the beginning, unlike the 97 one. It's on Internet Archive still. Um, I already did upload the opening to this on YouTube, but it got blocked. So I moved it to Internet Archive. It's still on if you I want to go see the opening to this tape. Another one with the dark light sticker label. September 9th, 2003 is the print date on this tape. There we go. Another one with the dark stick label. The print date is July 30th, 2000. July 30th, 2000. I do have a bunch of Wonder Brothers tapes with a dark light stick label. And this is another one right here. As you can see right there. July 22nd, 2003 is the print date on this tape. I did replace the clamshell for this tape because as for the original white casing, it was not in the best condition. It was too much bent and like there were cracks, so definitely had to replace the clamshell on this tape. The print date is February 18th, 2004. The tape itself seems okay, at least if that's what matters the most. This is the last clamshell. July 28th, 2004. Alright, and now we're going to move on to those sleep cases. So, yep, let's move on. Now for the stick label, this might make you think that it's the American USA copy tape, right? Well, it's actually not because if you could take a look at this and take a look at that. The print date is November 13th, 1997. This still uses the Canadian Tape Master. Still uses the Canadian Tape Master. Part of the adult, wait, no, part of the family classic drama, family classic drama. The print dates are January 14th, 93 and January 15th, 93.
part of the comedy drama. Yep. Comedy drama. Mm. Nope, just the one print date right there. The print date is May... May 14th, Night Side 2. May 14th, Night Side 2. Also part of the comedy drama. Comedy drama. The print date is September 8th, 1999. This is a reprint copy that contains the updated previews. Part of the adult drama, drama. The print date is 201st day of 1989, even though it's the nighttime one features. And has the Canadian symbol right here, so it still contains the Canadian tape master. So, yeah. And this is a much early print due to the fact, as you yeah, saw the print date, so this might be a recycled tape or something. I don't know. Part of the comedy drama. Hold on. There we go. October 18th, 96. Still contains the 1986 Winter Home video logo. Part of the adult action drama. I also do have another Dirty Harry movie, which we'll get into that momentary. The print date is April 18th, 97. Also part of the adult action drama. The print date is October 30th, 98. As you can see, um, the stick the label is not that centered as well, but that's alright. This is also part of the adult action drama. Adult action drama. The print dates are September 26, Night Side 2, and October 1st, Night Side 2. If I can make this to focus that well. You can kindly see it, but not that well, but, oh well, we must move on. I don't have the proper time to show you quickly. The print date is. Hold on, wait a second. There we go. 
October 19th, Night Side 3. October 19th, Night Side 3. I do have another copy of this tape, but I'm not going to show you that in my Wonder Brothers VHS collection. You'll see why once if I show you that in my MGM collection. You'll see what I mean. Right now, um, I just don't have the time to show you another copy of this tape in my Wonder Brothers collection, but MGM collection, which that will be there in momentary if the time depends. And the inside of it, it's got a little booklet, so it's really cool. Has the Canadian symbol right there. No print date on this tape. Focus that well. Okay, there we go. The print date is June seventh, night I eight. The print date is October 27th, Night Side Night. I screwed. Let me say that again. October 27th, 1999. My apologies. This tape right here still contains the 1986 Runner Home Video logo. The print date is November 18th, 1999. Wait, is that November 18th? Yep, I'm right. And this tape also contains the 1986 Wonder Hall video logo at the beginning. 1986 Wonder Hall video logo at the beginning. Almost dropped the tape. The print date is November 1st, 1999. November 1st, 1999. The casings you could see got sun faded, but that's all right. The print date is November 19th, 1999. November 19th, 1999. I have two copies you could see. This still comes in the original 96 tape. The print date is January 28th, 1996. I know I already have this on features, you can see right here, but 
I picked this up from Wonder Brothers Hits because I'm gonna have to keep it as collector's purposes that way it is, so... Yeah. Has the Canadian symbol right here. This time, no print date. No print date. I did check this tape to see if it has the newer logo or old logo. And sure enough, it does have the new logo. The 1997 one. Like... Like, you'll find out once if I show you at the print date. This is the stick label that has the 1997 logo. The print date is April 26th to bust it too. And yes, this tape does have the 1997 logo at the beginning. After the Warner Brothers Century 2000 trailer on it. As after the FBI warning screen. So... Yeah. This tape right here, I bought it recently. Or as for the recent tapes for the collection, I do have some of the recent tapes which Dal might be showing in this collection video, which y'all already know. But then if not, then you'll find out why what it is once if I show you that. The print date is August 23rd, 1998. This still contains the 1986 logo at the beginning. So, yeah. I know Twain Century Fox has taken over in this movie on Blu-ray, which I know what year, but oh well, don't care. The print date is May 11th to bust a bond. Late print. Some of the cases are a little bit sun faded, but that's all right. That's all right. September seventh, two thousand two, still contains the nineteen eighty six one the home video logo at the beginning. However, the original tape is still inside in this reprint case as you can see. But if you can take a look at this, the print date says May 12, 1997. So, it's still a late print from the VHS case, so I don't care as long as if I have it then that's what matters the most. That's what matters the most. For this tape right here, I already did post the opening if y'all want to go see it because nobody has the real official copy to this tape opening on YouTube before but until for now because I already did upload the opening to that last year. Um, I know the opening to this tape was shown on YouTube last time but it was the screener version not the official retail release. So I already did upload the opening to that tape last year if y'all want to go see it. The print date is May 21st, 1997. The label kind of looks like to be faded, but that's alright. 
And this tip is a former rental from Blockbuster, if I haven't really said so. Ah. Almost so close to drop the tape. There we go. It's just a little hard to get it in. I'm not going to go in detail on those purchase dates. November 21st, 2000. This contains the new one at home video logo from Night Size 7. The print date is March 26, 1998. February 14th, Nights I 9, aka Valentine's Day in that year, and plus. I got a feeling that this tape is almost going to be turning 21 years old soon. The print date is June 23rd, 2000. Wait, is that? Yep. Put this back in. I'm not going to show it. Go. Here's another Dirty Harry movie. The one I just showed y'all in a while ago is Sudden Impact. And now here's this one. There's a little bit bent and cracked and broken a little bit on this cassette, but the tape plays good. The print date is May 11th, 1998. It may kind of be a little bit faded for y'all to see, but I can still read that the way it is. Hold on a second, everybody. Continuing on, everybody. Sorry for that distraction. But this still must go on indeed. These are the two tapes I must show. Why? You'll find out why in a minute. I'm not so sure if this is going to contain previews or not. Well, before I show you uh, the print date, look at this. Yep, a, another Wonder Brothers tape with a white sticker label. And now take a look at this, before I read to y'all the print date. Look at this. See, it says CHG, so I'm not so sure if this contained previews or not, but yet again, I may have to check. The print date is August 25th, 1997.
Another Wonder Butter Speed Just Tape with this kind of white sticker label. The print date is March 10th, 1998. Not only I have free Wonder Butter Speed Just Tape with this kind of white sticker label, I also have my fourth of these ones because because the fourth one I had is for my spare copy of the 1998 features of Here Comes the Teletubby. So, this is why I have my four of them. So, or I should say right now, this is why I have four of them. It's like why I meant to say, just in that case, if y'all are confused. So, yep. The print date is June 3rd, 1999. June 3rd, 1999. Here we go. This tape by right here. It actually has the 1997 Warner Home Video logo unexpectedly. Um, I forgot to mention, as for some of these tapes from Bunner Brothers Hits, um, they still contain the 1986 Warner Home Video logo, but like us for this one, if I haven't really said so, this tape also contains the 1997 Warner Home Video logo, and including this one right here, so... Yeah. Hold on, wait a second. The print date is July 10th, Current date is June 27th, 1998. Now, now as for this next one, this is a screener. And this is another one for one of those recent tapes that I'm going to be showing you in this video. Yep, another recent tape right here. Full length screening cassette. And it even says this. For trade use only, not for sale, rental, or public exploitation. I do not, how can I pronounce that? I don't know. Not only of this screener tape that I'm going to be showing you, because I also do have two of them, which it might be shown as well, momentary. July 22nd, 1999 is the print date on this tape. The print date is September 12, 1999. For this movie right here, I already did watch this one last time, um, last week ago. For this movie right here, I watched it back in 2018, but this movie right here, I've already watched it, um, last week. Um, I was unable to watch this one because... I was busy with some other stuff, but now I finally got the time, so, yeah, I'm finally now be able to watch this movie, so, that's the one I already did last week, so, yeah. The print date is April 15th, 2003, April 15th, 2003.
Here's another screener tape. Although the case doesn't say the screener in anything, but the actual tape is like no joke. See? No joke. This is screener copy. The print date is April 20th, 1999. The red tape version. The print date is February 7th, 1999. Not only I have this is a red tape, I also do have the others which I will show you to them in momentary. November 25th, 1999. November 25th, 1999. This is not a copy. This is from Warner Brothers Hits. The wheels on this one are a bit yellowed, but same place great. August 25th, 2000. Oh, my apologies. I did not mean to do that. My bad. The print date is February 22nd, 1999. February 22nd, 1999. Let me just move over a little bit. For this one, this is weird. Um. I thought it could might as well have the one home video logo or anything, but no, it actually choked. I'm going to explain to you why in a minute, but now let me show you the tape first. Here it is. The print date is November 5th, 1999. On this tape, um, this actually did not have the one home video logo at the beginning. It actually has the different logo instead, which... I forgot what logo it has on the tape. Um, I still remember it, but I somehow forgot. <sighs> like, no joke. It doesn't have the one home video logo at the beginning. I did not realize this until then. I've watched the damn movie um, last time. And as soon as after I was done watching that movie, um, I've already did posted the opening to this tape last year if y'all want to go see it. Like, no joke. This tape doesn't have the one home video logo, and I've already did posted the opening to this tape last year if y'all want to go see. So, yeah. The Matrix Trilogy. This casing right here is pretty cool. Look at this. You noticed? Yeah, shiny. Cool, huh? The print date is November 15th, 1999. I unfortunately do not have Matrix Revolutions, but in next week, I'm gonna buy that. So, yeah. 
like I said, and next week I'm gonna have to buy Matrix Revolution. So, yep. August 29th, 2003 is the print date on this tape. The print date is May 22nd, 2003. May 22nd, 2003. Hold on. Sorry, it's just my feet's a little killing me. Hold on. Sorry, everyone. I cannot stand it how my feet are killing me that bad. Former ransom for much video. The print date is October 29, 1999. October Another red tape. The print date is November 17th, 1999. And this tape was originally came in the clamshell, but this is a sleep case copy. So, yeah. This is another one that's a formal rental for March video. And there was a sticker over there, but it unfortunately came off. Ooh. Upside down. The print date is June 18th, 2000. June 18th, 2000. Sorry, I was checking and looking at all of those tapes. Hold on a second, everybody. Continuing on. The print date is July 16th, 1998. This is a reprint copy from 2000 by this case, but the actual tape is still from 1998, as you can see, and including the print date. So, yeah. And even has the different cover art as you already saw. And including the copyright date of the year. Well, at least if you all don't see that too well, but Oh well, at least if it's the move on, I must go on still. So, yeah. Another red tape. The print date is January 5th, Tsubasa Bond. January 5th, Tsubasa Bond. Even though it's a two pass and VHS. Even though it's a two pass and VHS. Here's another later reprint tape. Be 
because this tape was fun to pass it. This tape was fun to pass it. The print date is February 2nd, 2001. Here's yet another later reprint tape, because since despite this tape being from 2000, despite this tape being from 2000, and as you can see, I did make my new own case for this tape because the original casing, I lost that one um, years ago, so I had to make one on my own. The print date is September 6, 2003. September 6, 2003. I cannot remember the print date for this tape. I'm have to double check. I'm have to double check. Hmm, let me see what the print date is. I don't know. I'm guessing it's April 9th to bus a bond. April 9th to bus a bond. April 9th to bus a bond. The print date is October 4th, 2001. February 26, 2004 is the print date. Even though this tape really came out in 2001. Even though this tape really came out in 2001. The print date is August 6, 2004, even though this is a 2001 feature, another late reprint. The print dates are April 24th, 2001 and November 13th, 2001. I don't have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, unfortunately. Um, I don't have this one yet, but I'm going to try buy that if... if if the time depends, or I might as well have to try and go and look for it. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit crack right here on this tape, but tape plays good. The print date is August 3rd, 2001. August. August 3rd to pass a bond. August 3rd to pass a bond. Here's the last screener tape that I have.
I even put the full-length screeny cassette logo by mating one on my new one on this case because it doesn't say it. Um, for the 1999 features of Risky Business, it doesn't say full-length screeny cassette and I unfortunately didn't put that logo in making my new one on my own by putting it into this case, but I'm gonna try and do that once either when I'm done with this collection video or so. Yep. The print date is May 1st, Tsipa Sipon. I do not have the original movie of this, but I only have the remake, but not the original one. I'm planning to get the original one if I can. Hopefully I might buy it as soon as possible. The print date is June 18th, 2004. So it's a lay print. This tape still contains the original content. Here's the sequel. This one is fitted on the wear side. Only the downside was um, the casing for this is not in the greatest shape. And the lid was missing when I bought it. So I had to put the lid on for this tape. Right now the tape is still playable. The print date is February 17th, 2005. February 17th, 2005. This tape will almost be turning 15 years old. 15 years old. And as you can see, it was a former rental from Blockbuster and some of the Blockbuster end label was destroyed by revealing the print date, as you can see right there. And including this sticker right here, as you can see. So, yep. If y'all been hearing the background noise, then try to ignore it and focus on me. This is the only time I can do this. This is the only time I can do this. This is another one that's a formal rental from Blockbuster. Another one, formal rental from Blockbuster. Yep. Hold on a second. I got distracted once again, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right now. So I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, now I'm back. And now, like, I've got a couple, like, more tapes to show, and then I'm gonna be done. So, hopefully I don't get distracted anymore. So, let's continue on. There's a crack, a little crack and bent on this tape, but tape still plays good. May 17th, 2002 is the print date on this tape. See, foam strip still fine and it is in good shape. Former rental from Jumbo Video. Former rental from Jumbo Video. October 11th, 2002.
The print dates are August 15th to Busted 2 and August 20th to Busted 2. The print date is October 10th to Busted 2. October 10th to Busted 2. The print date is June 26 to Busted 2. The print date is December 14th to Busted 2. December 14th to Busted 2. Just insert that again. Go. The print date is January 16th to Boston Free. January 16th to Boston Free. This is a pretty weird tape right here. You all don't come across with those very often. I'm actually planning on to get those two movies, two more movies by like. The sequel and the third one is if I can. Hopefully I might try to get those if I can soon. Hopefully I might will. The print date is October 10th, 2003. October 10th, 2003. The print date is September 22nd, 2003. September 22nd, 2003. This cup is where it's got black wheels. March 22nd, 2005. Yep, very rare indeed. Hold on a second, I got distracted once again, so alright, hold on, wait just a second. Nope, I don't see anybody else coming, so sorry about that, you guys. I really do hate distractions. We're going to continue on then, I guess. And this tip is a former rental from Lexington Pines. Lexington Pines.
I don't know why, where all of those distractions are coming from. April 12th to Boston Forest, the print date on this tape. Um, since I ended up splicing this tape, this tape starts right at the few seconds at FBI warning screen before when a whole video logo is shown at the beginning. So, yeah. This one doesn't have its original case, so I made one on my own. Another one with dark light stick label. No print date. Well, I know that there was a print date in Invisible Ink, but it unfortunately got faded, so... Sorry guys, this print date is unreadable. October 12, 1998. be quicker for me to get it closed the print date is hmm. hold on January 10th, 1999. January 10th, 1999. I can get the tape back in. There we go. The print date is mm, June fifteenth to pass the bond. June fifteenth to pass the bond. March 11th, 2000. Wait, is that March 11th? Yep. Oh, wait. Yes. March 11th, 2000. Sorry, it's just a little bit faded or hard for me to read, which I don't know why. I don't know why. March 18th to Boston Free. Soleil print. The print date is May 1st, 2000. May 1st, 2000.
The print date is May 3rd, 2001. May 3rd, 2001. We're almost done, everybody. Now, the next five are VeggieTales tapes, and then we're going to be done. So, I'm just going to scoot over. All right. And yes, this tape is distributed by One of Home Video. And yes, I, of course, did check the tape, so... Yeah. Well, although it doesn't have the logo, but because of WEA, since it's under the One of Home Video logo, then that's what really matters the most. February 26, 2002. August 8th, 2002. Oh. There's a little bit crinkling at the bottom of the film strip, but tape still plays good. Tape itself still plays good. The print date is October 7th, 2002. Two more tapes. July 10th, 2003. Here's the last, but not at least, the VHS tape. May 21st, 2003. May 21st, 2003. Alrighty then, everybody. Oops. Alrighty then, that's my Warner Brothers free chess collection done for the 2020 edition. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next upload. This is Mustafa's Movie Corner signing out. And before I do, sorry if there were any distractions. Um, I just couldn't handle myself. Um, not my fault at all, but. If because of that I couldn't stand it, so yeah. Like I said, this is Mustafa's Movie Corner signing out, and I will see you all in the next upload. So peace out.